Hi, welcome to Turtle Burger Crochet, Turtle Burger. <laughs> okay, let me just start over. Hi, welcome to Turtle Burger Crochet and Knitting Podcast. My name is Brittany. This is my channel where I like to talk about crochet and knitting and yarn and everything that goes along with that. Today is Sunday, March 20th, 2022. It is pretty late at night. I am ready to go to bed. <laughs> I am just making sure little lady stays down for the night. So I thought I would do this in the meantime. I am so excited. This is episode 10. It seems like this is such a milestone. It has taken almost two years to get to 10 episodes. So if you have been here all along, I thank you. If you're um, a returning viewer at all, a thank you. And if you're a new, thank you too <laughs> for clicking on my video. Um, uh, I'm trying not to say um so much. So that's one I'm gonna try not to do anymore. So, um, oh gosh. Okay. That is a really bad habit. That's going to be hard to break today. I have, uh, one finished object and I have, I'm only going to show three works in progress just because that was pretty much all I worked on. I do have more, but they didn't get any attention the past couple of weeks. So let's get into it. I am very excited to show you. I finished my green shawl. So it's, it is a triangular shawl from Tin Can Knits. I absolutely love it. It feels like it took forever to finish, but now that it's done, I'm really, really enjoying it. It is not blocked because little lady keeps taking it and honestly I'm okay with that. I'm not much for blocking anyway and it's just garter stitch so you know there's not any like really uh, you know sections lacy sections or anything like that 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 need to be opened up and shown. The yarn I used is Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the color Sea Coral. I, in, I did enter this into the We Share Needles podcast, the their Sha La La along. That's hard to say. Uh, it feels like this took forever. Excuse me. But honestly, I really like it. And if you are a beginner knitter and you're looking for something where you can just work on your knit stitches and maybe add a few yarn overs, this is a great pattern and really any of Tin Can Knits, I, I've made, um, well, technically I've only made two, but I really like them <laughs> for a beginner knitter. They're really great. Uh, so I was thinking this, I'm in a cowl neck shirt, so this isn't going to work anyway, but with this, and maybe it's because it's not blocked. It doesn't, um, as a triangle shawl, I even crochet ones, they are triangle scarves. They don't, oh, well, call me a liar. This isn't working out too bad right now. The, the ends don't come down long enough to really be able to wear it like a scarf. I need a haircut. Where's my... Well, I lost the end of it. There it is. Um, so I was thinking what would be really great is to get a cuff to wear with it. Um, I'm just going to wear it like a regular shawl. So I was looking, and I don't see any that I like well enough to invest in. So I was thinking of making, knitting, a small cuff. I have a really fantastic wood button that would go, and I was thinking of making it, I can't decide like a light brown or a dark brown um, so that it kind of goes with everything, but I think that would be really beautiful with this. What do you guys think? Do you, do you wear cuffs with your shawls? And then even if I wanted to wear it, you know, like this, where the ends are just in front, 
like a regular shawl. I could, you know, kind of just do that. I don't know. Just something I was thinking about. But I, my first knitted shawl, I, it's so funny. I never thought I liked shawls. And now that I've knit one, I'm like, I want to knit all the shawls. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It, they're really cozy. And like I said, little lady loves it. So there will definitely be more shawls in my future. Speaking of shawls, the next one I wanted to make, if you remember last time I was keeping it in a jar, and it still is, it is the Murder Knits shawl. So I'm going to show you the little bit that I have. I didn't add much to it, but, and then I'm going to talk about the yarn because this is a scrap yarn that I've just had, but here is what I'm calling the Murder Knits shawl. This is the front side of it. Oops, I just dropped the ball. <laughs> Which is darn, because I needed to get that. Oh, you know what? Let me go back to the shawl real quick. Let me see if I can find it. I, um, the Red Heart Super Saver was a 10 ounce skein which was 283 grams, and I forget how many yards. This is all I have left, which is nine grams that I weighed on my new scale. I will show you in acquisitions. I'm very excited about that. So this is nine grams. Um, so you could, this is basically like a $6 shawl. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> If you just use, you know, either scraps, you could add up a whole, whole bunch or, um, you know, you could do anything you wanted with this. But anyway, back to the Murder Knits shawl. So, um, I'm going to go out of screen here just a second and I may edit this out. Okay. So, um, if you don't know the, what I'm calling the Murder Knits shawl, um, Tabitha of Murder Knits is another podcaster, and a few weeks ago in her um, community section or whatever, she posted how she makes just regular old shawls. I mean, there's not a written pattern or anything to it, and I have um, quite a few episodes admired the ones that she's shown, but, you know, didn't know anything about them, really. So... I think because maybe they weren't the point of what she was talking about. So I don't, I don't know how I missed it anyway. So she posted what she does and I thought, Oh, I want to make one. So I thought it would be a neat scrap project. So last, um, episode I was showing this, which I weighed this one too. And I, I think it was 48 grams is this, which I don't know what else it would be enough to do with. Um, but it's almost like a t-shirt yarn. Let me see. It is really great. It's so soft. That's like not focusing at all. I don't even know why I'm doing that. Um, and it is fantastic. Before I continue, do you guys think 48 grams would be enough to make like a small shawl or kind of just scarfy thing. I don't know. Anyway, so in my stash, so I was using this. This was given to me by my mother-in-law. She gave me another yarn. No idea what either of these are, but it, I thought it's got kind of these mauve mauve kind of colors and white in a, like a light, light mauve pink. I thought, oh, that would be so pretty with this. I mean, I thought they contrasted well. Um, so I've been kind of working it up. I'm thinking of undoing it though, because this skein, I think the acrylic has gone bad in it because every now and then, well, okay, one time, but I can feel it in more of the skein is there's just one little crunchy section and I'm like, but it, it almost feels like it got too hot or something at one point and if you've ever accidentally gotten acrylic hot it gets like a crunchiness to it so I'm thinking of um, either 
knitting back to this and just cutting those sections out, but it feels like right here, there's a pretty big section. So I don't know. Um, I had a suggestion to, to stuff, use it as stuffing, which would be fantastic. I do that anyway. I keep all my scraps, like cutting ends and everything in an old can and I use that for stuffing. So that's actually a really great idea. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might just cut the, those sections out because I really think this looks so pretty together. The other thing I'm kind of concerned about is I wonder if this is not a DK weight. This one I'm fairly confident is because it feels like it. But see how I'm getting kind of gaps right here. I don't know if that's just my tension or I'll be honest, I think I kind of messed up. I just picked it up without looking at what what my screenshot of her pattern is and so I may have messed something up. So I don't know. I don't know. But I think this will be so pretty once I get it. It's almost like you just you just keep increasing. There's no decreasing or anything. You increase till you're out of yarn till how it's however long you want it. And then you bind off and that's it. Easy peasy, rice and cheesy. So I'm, I would do want to eventually work on this. Um, and I really want to use this yarn. I think I'm just going to cut the pieces out um, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, the next work in progress, I said three, but that's only, oh, oh. That's why, okay, I was like, did my counting wrong? My next work in progress is a dishcloth. This is the March dishcloth of the month called Emily's Garden Dishcloth from the Kitchen Sink Shop. I have not finished it. I am hoping to finish it um, before March is over. Um, it is very simple. I just didn't get much time to work on it. I. This is keeping track of my repeats over here. Um, I didn't get a whole lot done, but I know I at least did two repeats <laughs> since the last podcast. I think I did more than that. The yarn I'm using is Mainstays 100% Cotton in the color Opaline Green, I believe. You get this at Walmart. I really like this yarn. It is very comparable to Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton. Um, so it's very enjoyable to work with. I am using a 3.25 needle. These are my Co-Knit Bamboo um, needles. And there's not much more to say on that. <laughs> I, I do enjoy making the dishcloths. I just haven't had a whole lot of time because my third and final work in progress is a test knit. Oops. Although... Hold on, I've lost it. Oh. Here we go. So I, this is a test knit for Michaela of Breaking Yarn, who has a podcast I will link down below. I, this is the first time I've test knit for her and I really, really, really like this pattern. So if you watch her podcast, she really likes Eye of the Partridge heels on her socks. And so she kind of converted that thought into a cowl, and that's what I'm making. So I started this off in a um, hand-dyed, very crazy, beautiful, beautiful yarn. It's a DK weight, um, but I'm glad I decided to change it to more kind of solid colors because it is beautiful. I am using lion brand mandala or mandala it is the color nifflers it started out with um so i just have this ball i think it was probably half a skein i know i have another full one somewhere if i need it and obviously when it's a finished object i'll go into more of the weight and everything of it but again it's a dk weight size three yarn it starts off with this ribbing and then the eye of the partridge kind of pattern it is let me see if it'll it is stunning it is very it is dense but it has a stretchiness to it 
and I really like this. I cannot wait to wear it. The color is fantastic. I'm so glad that there's a longer teal section than anything else because that's my favorite. Teal is my happy place. So I am really liking this. And she actually has a, um, I think it might be her Skylar White socks. I'm not sure. I remember when she sent the test um, email or email out asking for testers for an eye of the partridge heel sock um, and at the time I couldn't do it but after doing this I'm really eager to go and and purchase that I think it's a paid for pattern I can't remember um, and do it because I really like it and I just remembered I'm gonna count something as a finished object <laughs> so a long time ago I bought some charms at Walmart and lobster clasp and the little rings or whatever and I finally made one. I didn't add a lobster clasp to it because I was just in need of a stitch marker and so I made this. Well I didn't make the heart obviously. It's just a little charm but you know I added the little the ring to it which was so easy. It only took like two seconds. I don't know why I've been putting it off for so long so now I'm eager to go and make those. So let's see. Okay, that is all of my projects that got attention anyway over the past couple of weeks um, since the last time I podcasted. Let's see. I'm really liking this. I'll keep you guys updated on it. Obviously, I'll show it as a finished object, but when it's released too. And I will um, link Michaela's um, podcast down below so that you can also check that out or check her podcast out when she's um I don't know what her schedule is peach mango <laughs> tea um okay so acquisitions I actually have some so the first one I have I am so excited I got a scale so for the past several years all I've been using is a baby scale and so it's like this big white thing and it does pounds and pounds, ounces, and kilograms. But I don't think it was very accurate. I think if, it, let's say it was like, you know, whatever was below, uh, let's say it was, okay. My mind is just like ready for bed. Okay. So I think whatever the ounces, it, round up like let's say it was 14 ounces it would just round it up to a pound or something like that I, I don't remember how it works right now but anyway it wasn't accurate in forms of grams so I'm excited to have this it is an Amazon basics I just got it on Amazon really cheap but I really like it and that's what I weighed my cute little yarn ball on nine grams so I'm very excited about that the next acquisitions I have is just a bunch of cotton yarn from Walmart because I do not want to use my peaches and cream anymore. But let me let me go back to this. I don't mind it crocheting with it. So I think I'm going to get on a kick of crocheting a bunch of dish, dish cloths until they're all gone. And I will use peaches and cream for crocheting. For knitting, I will not do it anymore. It is not an enjoyable experience. With the caveat that I don't increase my needle size. If I use like a, between a four and four and a half, it's not so bad. But otherwise, it just really, really hurts my hands. So, I was in, so with that being said, I was in need, <laughs> need of um, getting more cotton yarn to make my knitted dish cloths with. So sorry for the crinkling, it's still all in a Walmart bag. I'm gonna keep this separate because I don't wanna mix any of this up with what I make to enter into the Carla Knits podcast, stash, love it, love your stash make along. If it was anything that you had prior to um, the beginning of the year. So here's the colors I've got. You guys have seen this color before. This is the um, blue shell give it a second to kind of focus in here it's a very light blue all of these are like I said 100% cotton 180 yards 
for three and a half ounces. It's a size four medium and it calls for a, a five millimeter knitting or crochet size. So that's that one. And then I also got, um, so I already had those. I got a, this one is called Brownstone. It's a kind of darker tan. I can't remember if I already had one of these or not. Some of them I already have. Um, I just needed more. And this one I know I already have one of. And this is the, this one doesn't have, oh, Daylily Pink. It's a very light pink, very pretty. And then I got, whoops, just white. I'm pretty sure that's just the color. Arctic white, because not everyone likes colored dishcloths. I personally think they're pretty fun, but not everyone does. So, and then my label is coming off this one, but this one, and I can't remember if I had this one already in my stash either, is soft silver. So it's obviously kind of a gray color. So those are my acquisitions. I am re-upping my cotton supply and I got the scale. I do not have anything else in the works to get. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's it. Uh, I did not get any reading done the past couple of weeks, but I did listen to more of the Love Comes Softly audio tape in the book one series. I am almost done with it. In fact, I need to finish it because it gets, um, it auto returns itself at the end of like 21 days or something like that on Hoopla, H-O-O-P-L-A. I really like that app if you haven't heard of it. And I think that's, it. I hope you guys have a great next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'm going to bed. Bye.